I am happy that running the Ghana CEO Summit consistently for our eighth year. Today, we are going to have a good thought leadership moment. Without saying much, I would like to say, get your loan for a great time. Through collaboration, innovation, and strategic leadership, you as the corporate leaders and captains of industry will help chart a path forward towards a more prosperous, resilient, and inclusive future for all Ghanaians. Our goal is an economically diversified landscape characterized by a balanced mix of industries and markets producing various high-value added activities. And I believe that working together, we can build the Ghana we want. If you look at all the routine things that uh, governments do in the, in, the, in the area of development, we have done much more and performed much better. As a government, we will accelerate our digitalization drive to create the supportive ecosystem for such technologies to flourish. Most of the multinational corporations are now having their own sustainability reports. With artificial intelligence tools, whilst preserving our safety through observing ethical and legal rules that should shape regulation and policy for AI. When we take bold steps to grow our country, where we grow the economy, that comes with a mindset of not today, but tomorrow. And so for Africa, whether we invest in it or not, in the next 10 years, we'll see a lot more AI in the way we do things that we would adapt, just like how we use a lot of But it also serves well that we can actually engineer or innovate our own AI to solve, solve our unique problems. We are living in the most exciting time in human history. We can leverage technology to catapult the growth of Ghana and essentially transform the whole world. I want everyone to get financial education by having tools in their hand that can advise them, that can help them build a portfolio, that can learn about investing in companies. We have a responsibility, irrespective of the sector, to adopt some of the technologies to drive productivity. We really, really, really need to rethink what we mean by African unity when it comes to business, when it comes to politics, when it comes to development. We talk about AI and the, all the things that AI can do, the processes that AI will enable us to automate. What that means is that we need to shift our workforce. In the area of AI, we are more concerned with the policy framework that needs to be put in place for private sector, public sector, and all the other stakeholders to thrive in. Traditionally, we have been uh, taught up to think that uh, those who are in the down of the financial pyramid or in the poor section, they are not bankable, they are risky. If you lend money to them, the chance is you will not get it back. For an organization to really leverage AI, there is only one way. It has to be linked with business strategy, which is why we also help organizations deliver AI strategy. What I've seen from working with hundreds of hundreds of companies in Europe, that the most efficient thing starts with the team plan and then with empowering employees with trainings of their own. We tend to adapt some of the technologies rather than developing them uh, for our own use. And that can have repercussions on our macro stability, can have repercussions on our exchange rate. We look at a technology, but what is important to us is how are you using it to solve a critical problem. Now, when the PC first came out, what was it about the PC that made us fall in love with it? The PC enabled us to be creative. And with AI, our creativity has gone to a completely different level. The question is, are we ready for AI? Have we reached the level in a developing country where we have a smaller economy? Will one sector of the economy grow better than one? Today, if you look at what is happening in the financial services sector, you'll find that banks are now moving away from closed banking to open banking as a result of um, AI. If public sector is made extremely efficient, then private sector can really live up to the adage the private sector is the engine of growth. What kind of tools are we 
employing in terms of making sure that uh, industries are responding to modern ways of doing things. Alpha presents an extraordinary opportunity for Ghana's manufacturing sector to thrive. By embracing the CD environment, addressing the challenges head on, and demonstrating visionary leadership, we can chart a path forward that not only reclines the goal, but also positions Ghana as a manufacturing powerhouse in the country. We need to have the understanding that, uh, as, especially in financial services, AI will never be left alone. Even if we're starting a business from scratch, let's start thinking big about how we can be uh, present across Africa, across more than one country, and create the infrastructure from scratch to enable us to do that. We must take advantage of this to design policy frameworks, not just from the international point of view or the Africa point of view, but especially as well concerning Ghana. And um, between the years um, 2021 and um, 2023, December, uh, we've been able to increase our assets and our management from around $150 million to over $1 billion as we speak. What I think we should begin to change our mindset towards is the fact of every complaint we level on the lap of government. That complaint is an opportunity for a certain private sector player to make money.